Hello and welcome. I am Mr. Gary and <laughs> happy Halloween. I am Mr. Gary and here are my two friends. I lost my head, or should I say heads, dancing heads, and I got a makeover. Here, I'll let you stew there for a little while and talk to each other. There you go. Hello, I'm Mr. Gary, and guess what? I got myself a makeover. Do you like it? I got myself some red hair, and I had my face made over. I like it. I think it looks better. What, you don't like it? That's okay. I was hoping you wouldn't, because I didn't do it for you. Welcome to my program. Welcome to Halloween. Welcome to the Gary's Spooky Halloween Funnies. Let's get this nightmare started. Or, should I say, let's get the show started. So, we'll start lighting the candles of the funny mysteries of life. No. This candle in the middle is all lit for you, honey. Lit for you. All for you. Okay. So, how are you doing today? You're all sick? I was hoping so. Now, let's get the funny show, Funnies on the Road here. Tonight, we are going to talk about friends and church friends over here. And we're going to talk about how they don't care about you. Don't you think that is funny? You do. You don't. I don't care. Second of all, you're going to meet my new friends. And here's one of them. What's the name? What's that? Oh no, we got another one over here, don't worry. Right here. See that? There's Gary. You know him, right? From the Faith Family Church. You know all about him, right? Gary. What's that, Gary? No? There's my two friends there. And I'll let you meet this later. So, what's the name? What's their names? They're skeletons. They don't have names. You want me to name them? Oh, here, how you name them? One of them is Jerome, and the other one, uh, what's your name? I'm having a little trouble hearing him. Get that, that's the joke. What's your name? No, you're not Gary. I know, I know. You're Reverend Sloan. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is Reverend Sloan right here. This is Gary. This right here. What's that? Yeah, I'm stuck on. That's what the joke is. This is Brother Tom. This, somebody's head I lost. And this is Gary, the preacher of the Faith Family Church boyfriend. Now that you met my nice little family here, let's get on with this. Harry's running down the street, scared of Mr. Grimm. That's my older brother. You don't like my makeover? You do like, you don't like it. I, I like it better. I think I look, I think I look better this way with this red hair. How about these? Huh? Do you like it? They like it. They, what's that? You want my hair? Oh, by the way, I lost my head. Or should I say, should I say all the people at the Faith Family Church lost their head? What's that? Did you hear that? I lost my head. All right, let's get going. Anyway, what's that? Hey, I got something for you. You all think that so, you have so many friends out there. You think they care about you? Here's the funny thing. You ready to laugh? <laughs> they don't care about anybody except themselves. That's right. They care about them. They don't care about anybody else. 
Isn't that right, Barbara? She, she likes you. What's that? No, that's her head right over there. That's funny, isn't it? The talking heads. No, and the band is right back here. So anyway, let's get along with this. Okay, you got all these, what's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. We got to do that, don't we? We got to have a verse from this. What? You don't want this? I don't want it either, hell. All the preachers in the world, this is, this is freaking Brother Tom. No, this is Brother Tom. Can't tell them apart. What's that? No, no, no. This is Brother Tom from the shrine, and this is Reverend Sloan. Yeah. Okay. So you sit there and you you sit there and you in your in your nice house out there, and you sit there and you want to know something. You have all these friends. Well, listen to the funny part. They always claim that they're there for you. And oh, especially the Christians. And you these Jesus people over here. Oh, I'm here for you. Get ready to laugh. Get ready to laugh. <laughs> What's that? You want to go someplace? Get ready to laugh. Let's listen. Up. Look at this. I want you to see. You want to see something funny? Here. Here's something funny. Hello. Hi, Susan. I'm Sergeant Beatty from the Child Police Department. This is Detective. Oh, Chief. let me guess. Let me guess. The, the video of the Faith Family Church. Right. Uh, we went through this four times. We don't need to go through this anymore. Okay, well, this, we just want to remind you that there's a uh, trespass warning against you out there, so don't show up on the property. I know it was just a video, and you didn't make any direct this, threats, but they felt do you wanna, a little intimidated by it, okay? Yeah, do you want to repeat that, please? I said they felt a little intimidated by that, okay? I know you weren't making any direct threats towards them. This guy, I, I want to tell you something. Okay. This guy is fucking crazy. Who's crazy? That guy that's Gary that's doing all of this. He's crazy. We're just here to remind you that there's a trespass warning against you for the property. Right, so we've been through this uh, since two years ago, five times now. Okay. This is getting ridiculous. Okay, it, well, I understand that you're upset, but we're just here to remind you that, okay? That don't go on the property because you'll be arrested for trespassing. Well, what day? Hey, listen to me, okay? The right to remain silent. Any of these things can be used against you in a court of law. You're right. It's time to talk to an attorney. Have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire an attorney, I want to be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you oh. wish. You can decide at any time to not answer any questions or make any statements. You understand those rights? <laughs> Because this makes four or five different times now he signed trespass warnings against me. Okay. With no, it wasn't you two guys. It was somebody else before, wasn't it? Um, yeah, I believe it was, it was uh, the other two shallow. Right. This is totally ridiculous. No homos will ever be allowed on this church as long as I'm the pastor here. Never. No homos will ever be allowed on this church as long as I'm the pastor here. Never. <laughs> Did you think that was funny? That was an exclusive from the church. Guess which one? Oh, I gotta tell you about something. I have to tell you about something, but first I gotta tell you about this. All you people, you trust these people out there. You wanna know something? They all hate you. You wanna know something? Every time they say that they're, oh, I'm there for you, I'm there for you, right? You're, the, you're there for me. You're there for me. They always say that they're there for you, but guess what? When you need help, they're never there for you. Go do it yourself. Here's the plain and simple truth. Are you ready to laugh? <laughs> a while back that you weren't allowed to come here. I'm sorry, I don't recognize you, it. You were notified a, a couple years ago that you aren't supposed to be here during the wave lights. I don't remember none of that. Okay, you are. If we have to, we'll call the police. I'm Brother Tom. You need to say that again. I don't understand because I don't uh, remember none of this. Uh, well, just leave, all right? 
I'll call, well, I'll, I'll, I'll call the manager and he'll take care of it. Who's the manager? No grabbing of my stuff, boy. Uh, that's, that I will file charges if you do that. Put it down. I will file charges you touch me or my stuff. All right. Do not touch Shut me or my stuff. Shut I don't off. have to. Huh? I will leave, but I don't have to touch any. Okay. You don't have to touch any of my stuff, All right. Blake. All right, you will leave now. All right? Yeah, you don't have to touch any of my stuff. Okay, fine, if you leave now. Hey, listen to me, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Any of these things can be used against you in a court of law. You're right at this time to talk to an attorney, have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire an attorney, I want to be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you oh. wish. You can decide at any time to not answer any questions or make any statements. You understand those rights? No homos will ever be allowed on this church as long as I'm the pastor here. Never! No homos will ever be allowed on this church as long as I'm the pastor here. Never! <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, excuse me? What did you say? Sir? I'm not a sir, I'm a ma'am. Are you sure? Because I'll have the sheriff uh, check and see if you are. Do you want to correct that, please? I come here to enjoy the music. Okay. I will sit back here, but there's no need for insult me. I'm not insulting you. You sit, you sit back here. All right. You want to correct what you said I'm first, gonna, please? I'm going to have the... I'll tell you, make people most uncomfortable when you use a lady's restroom. Okay? And so I'd like, uh, if we need to, we'll have, uh, we'll have the sheriff here to uh, talk with. We need you to grab her for stuff and come outside with us, please. Yeah, you know, I haven't done anything, so uh, the people here were just asking me to um, I'm sitting back here just like they said. Yes, I'm sir. enjoying the music. I have done nothing to nobody. Okay. Well, apparently you're causing disturbance. You're going to have to come outside with us. I haven't done nothing. Ma'am, would you like to come out easy? Okay. I haven't done anything to anybody, sir. You're going to have to come with us. Okay. Why? Because you're not listening to me. I want to know why. Because they've asked you to leave. The people they want to talk to you. Outside. Now let me ask. Let me say something here. Could you come over? Because I can't hear you. We're gonna step outside to talk. Then we'll talk. Can I say something? <laughs> That's mine. Okay. Do not touch mine. Then let's go. Now they are throwing me out of Church of Jesus Christ, right? Am I right? They're just asking that you not come back. Why? Hey, James, listen to me, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Any of these things can be used against you in a court of law. You're right at this time to talk to an attorney, have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire an attorney, I want to be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you oh. wish. You can decide at any time to not answer any questions or make any statements. You understand those rights? <laughs> Getting 
back to the original thing. All you people out there claim that you're friends. Friends. Yeah. The kind of friends that like to stab people in the back. The kind of friends that like to hurt people. That's the kind of friends. Especially these Jesus people over here. And these Christians and whatever you are. You said, oh, you want to know something? Oh, we're always going to be there for you. We're always going to be there for you. But guess what? When you need them, where are they? This is my head. And you want to know something? I lost it so many times. Wondering what happened to all these friends out here. That it isn't even funny. I mean, Jesus. You know, they don't care about you. They don't care about nothing. That's the fun. You know what the funny part is? What's the funny part? You want to know what the funny part is? Here's the funny part. What's that? Oh, two skeletons were holding hands and walking into the shrine, no, not the shrine, the Faith Family Church. What's that? Yeah, they were walking into the shrine too. Pastor Bob, uh, Re uh, Brother Bob, and uh, what's that? Reverend Sloan of the St. Matthew Church, but we're using the you want me to use your church? Okay. We were walking into the St. Matthews United Methodist Church, and guess what? There comes the pastor, Pastor Sloan, and says, What are you doing here? What are you doing here, you two skeletons? What are you doing here? And he said, We're trying to, to get some, some word of God. We're gonna worship God. We're gonna we're gonna I got my friends here. Well, going to boogie, what would you like that, don't you? Especially you. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, I think this is some funny stuff. But anyway, let's go on with this. So, and here's two more friends. They lost their bodies. Ooh, they're running around headless now. Oh, okay. So they walked in the church, and there comes Reverend Sloan from the St. Matthew United Methodist Church with his Bible, here is what he says. What you doing here? I'm the preacher, what do you think I am? I'm the preacher, I, wor I worship God. Who are you worshiping? You need to stop being gay. You need to stop being transgender and so do you. You can't be together like this. You're gonna go to hell. Get out of my church. We're getting the police over here. We're getting the police over here, and we're gonna take you out of church. And here we go. Hello. Hi, Susan. I'm Sergeant Beatty from the Child Police Department. This is Detective. Oh, let me guess. Let me guess. The, the video of the Faith Family Church. Uh, we went through this four times. We don't need to go through this anymore. Okay, well, just, we just want to remind you that there's a, a, a trespass warning against you out there, so don't show up on the property. I know it was just a video, and you didn't make any direct this, but they felt do you a wanna, little intimidated by it, okay? Yeah, do you want to repeat that, please? I said they felt a little intimidated by that. This right? guy, I, I want to tell you something. Okay. This guy is fucking crazy. Who's crazy? That guy that's Gary that's doing all of this. He's crazy. I mean, this four times now that we've been through this. Okay, it's you either. We're just here to remind you that there's a trespass warning against you for the property. Right, so we've been through this uh, since two years ago, five times now. Okay. This is getting ridiculous. Okay, it, well, I understand that you're upset, but we're just here to remind you that, okay? That don't go on the property because you'll be arrested for trespassing. What day? No homos will ever be allowed on this church as long as I'm the pastor here. Never! Hey, listen to me, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Any of these things can be used against you in a court of law. You're right. It's time to talk to an attorney, have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire an attorney, I want to be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you uh -huh. wish. You can decide at any time to not answer any questions or make any statements. You understand those rights? <laughs> Anyway, let's talk about friends. 
how. How they don't really like you. How you want to know something, my friend, and listen to what I got to say. You want somebody to care about you, you want to know something, I'm the only one that does. Because you want to know something, they don't care about you. You know that? There's only one thing they care about. And let's be truthful here. And this is a big laugh. Are you ready to laugh? I know I am. Here's the laugh. They only care about themselves. They only care about themselves. That is the cardinal rule of humanity. One only cares about themselves. They're not like me. I care about all you people. I hope you all fall in the hole at the same time. But th that, that's not the way these people over here, Christians are. Christian friends and Jesus friends, they want you to fall in the hole one at a time. And they're going to come and they're going to make sure you do. But not me. I want you to fall in the hole all at the same time. So that makes... What's that? That's funny. I thought so. Jeez. What do you want? You want some money? Here. Here you go. You don't need money no more. Hey, I got it. I got it. Are you ready for this? Two skeletons walk into the, the church. And they say, give me a stiff one. Meaning I want a drink. A pastor sits and looks at him and says, this is a church. And he says, I know that. He says, there ain't no bar here. Says, you want to know something? I know that too. I said, no, what are you coming here for? What do you want here with it? Why are you asking for a drink? The pastor, then, then, then this, this skeleton says, well, I saw you at the bar last night. And you were having with three girls there. And you were kissing a guy. And I think that's funny, don't you? <laughs> Get it? Pastor, pastor here. This is the pastor right here. See him? Hello, pastor. This is a pastor of the faith, of Mac, no, I almost said the Faith Family Church. No, this is the pastor of the United Methodist Church. Union United Methodist Church, and he's gay. What's that? These people are all gay. You know that. They're the ones that's gay. That's why they tell all of us we should, we're going to hell, because they're like me. What's that? You ain't got no skin. I don't want you anymore. That's what they all tell you. Here. Here's what you want. Here. Kiss it. This is my friend right here. My, my, my best friend right here. This is my other best friend. This name is Diana. Right here. Go have a talk with each other. That is some funny crap, isn't it? What's that? You don't think so? Here he is. We're doing the buggy woogie. So, get here some truth. You want to know some truth? you got to care about yourself. No one else is going to do it. No, you want to laugh. Here's a laugh. Here's a laugh. All your friends out there invite, invite you to church. You're going there for a Christmas program to listen to some Christmas music. And uh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-host open sleigh. No, I'm not going to sing the rest of it. And the preacher's up there preaching God. Jesus loves the world. Each and every one of you accept it as you are. Except you. Except for you. You can't come into this church. You can't come into this church. You want to know why? Because you're gay. God doesn't want you. He wants to take you out of church. And you over here, you over here, wait a minute, you over here, you over here, you can't come into this church because you're transgender. God doesn't want you, he, don't, in fact, hold on a minute, in fact, hold on a minute here, hold on, I'm going to get the police to take you out. Instead, no, here, I'm let him wear my dress. I'm going to get the police to take you out of here. That's my gift to you. Police is going to take you away. What's that? That's God's love. Isn't that a laugh? <laughs> Here's love. <laughs>
that. I don't either. Especially when it was done to me. What's that? What's that? What's that? You want something funny? I thought that was hilarious. All right. Go ahead and be together. See, you know why these heads are together? These are a, a gay couple. No. This is a that, This is a gay couple. And it's a romantic story. Let me tell it to you. This happened some years ago back at the Faith Family Church with this guy right here, this bozo here, without any teeth. They come in together, kissing each other, in the doorway, not in church, in their doorway, and Pastor there, Gary, got wind of it. He threw him out so hard, he, he didn't wait for the police. See that? Wait a minute, let me go get the police. Hold on. Hold on, let me get the phone. Got the phone right here. Here it is. Here it is, the phone. And he didn't wait for the police. He threw them out body first, and their heads stayed. That's right. Well, isn't that funny? Now they're together. There you go. I think that was a scream. <laughs> this is some funny, this is some funny stuff. Let's, oh, you know what, you know something? We're gonna go to this church, and I'm gonna go there, and I'm gonna see if I'm welcome there. Follow, what's that, you wanna go someplace first? Okay. What is the problem? I haven't done anything. Susan, I'm Sergeant Phillips of Detective Green with Shiloh Police Department. Yes. We're here in reference to a report made by Faith Family Church in Shiloh, okay, in reference to the video that you posted on Facebook. Okay. We thought that some of those were threatening in nature, okay, so they just... That's a Halloween video, honey. We went through this before 150 times. I totally understand, but I'm just letting you know that you're not welcome to go back onto their property. They signed a trespass warning saying that you're not welcome at Faith Family Church in Shiloh, okay? So... This wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Go back. I didn't say okay. I didn't understand, I'm sorry. Say that again. I signed a trespass warning against you. You're not welcome on the property at Faith Family Church. If you go back to Faith Family Church in Shiloh, you're gonna be arrested. Okay. We're back. What's that? Okay, you're gonna come with me. This is funny. This is funny. This is funny. Two skeletons were dancing together in church. The preacher comes up to them, offers them a drink. What's that? They don't drink. I didn't mean that kind of a drink. I'm talking about the communion drink. Offers them the communion, and they say, Hey, before we take this communion, before we take this cup, you need to know that we're, we're transgender. The preacher goes, i got to say a prayer over you. All of you's got to join in now. Hey. You all gotta join in. We gotta get the Bible over here. We gotta save this person. We gotta save this person. They're, they're transgender, they're gay. Here it is. Here's the word. Let's go pray over this. No, which one? This one. Let's go pray over this one. No, this one. Oh, 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 oh. Save this person with the holy word. Oh, oh, save her. Save her. Save this person from the sin of being transgender. Oh, God, God, Jesus. Save this person from being transgender. Save this person. We need to save her. Give me the holy words right here. Give me the holy words. Get ready to laugh, because this is a funny one. Get ready. Save, save Jesus. We need to save, we need some holy water. We got some holy water right here. Here it is. Holy water. Holy water. Ooh, that was good. Holy water. Oh, we got some more. Here's some more. Wait a minute. But that's a little dark. Hold on. Oh, Balfati Meek and Nebuchadnezzar. Oh, save. Save this person. And save this one, too. Save this person from the eternal damnation of hell. Oh, get ready to laugh. There's the funny part. Save, save, take and save her soul. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute here, wait. Hold on. How long have you been dead? This person's already dead. Oh my goodness, the 
but I make them. I I think I need some glasses. Hold on. I won't have any here. I thought you were already. Ooh. <laughs> Don't you think that was so damn funny? Oh, <laughs> I'm trying to. I was. I'm laughing at myself here. I'm the preacher. I'm Mr. Gary. With my long hair and my boogie woogie woogie woogie. <laughs> I'm trying to save this person and this person. They're a gay couple, and they're going after pet my ribbon here. Nope, you gotta leave them alone. And they're already dead. Oh, what's the matter with me? Am I that blind? Really? I'm the faster of the. Oh Lord, this is so damn funny. You want to know something? All of them are too. So damn funny with this stuff. You get ready to laugh yet? Okay, here we go. No homos will ever be allowed on this church as long as I'm the pastor here. Never! You know, it really isn't the way you would expect the creator of the universe to make an entrance. I mean, he came into the world he made very quietly and softly. He, he introduced this king of kings, this ruler of the universe, introduced himself without any kind of forcefulness, not direct. He introduced himself to us who owe him our allegiance. And no homos will ever be allowed on this church as long as I'm the pastor here. Never! I hope you enjoyed that. We're gonna go find out who's in this house right now. We're going up to the door. This is a friend of mine. I'm gonna preach, I'm gonna preach the word. And uh, yeah, hold on. I'm gonna preach the word to them. Let's see how, let's see if we can save this person. Are you with me? More power to me, Jesus Christ. More power. You with me? Okay, let's go see. Here it is, we're gonna knock on the door. Nobody. Nobody's home? Hold it. Nobody here. Oh my goodness, what happened here? Was that you? Let's, let's try it one more time. Nobody here. Oh, I think this place is possessed. We're gonna pray. Here we go. Oh, give me the strength. How about be thy name? Uh, okay, here we go. Hit some more. Hold on. We're going to pray. Here it is. Oh, everything. We're praying in the name of Jesus. This is a transgender household. We're doing the book. <laughs> I can't even. This is so funny. I can't even do it. <laughs> hey. Oh, good. You're working. You're working. You're working. You're working. You're working. You're working. Pray to Jesus. I pray. I pray for the saving of this poor transgender soul that she comes out so I can give her a message. Oh, I pray to you, I pray to you. Oh, I pray, I pray over the name of them. I pray over this. I pray. What's that? Whoa! We got demons in here. Whoa! We got a haunted house here, I think. What's that? No, that's only Gary's spirit. Let's try one more. No, we're going to try some more. Here. Ah, uh, here's a good, here's a good passage. What am I doing with the Bible? Jesus. Jesus. Come into this person. Save her from her colorful ways. Let's get rid of that transgender spirit of hers. Let's go pray the word of, of God out of her and pray the transgender evil spirits out of her. What's that? Nobody here. <laughs> hey, how about this? I got a hundred dollars here. Oh, now she's out? That's all it took? What am I doing with the Bible? Isn't that funny? That's so funny. I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> What's that? They're laughing too. <laughs> this stuff is a scream. Oh, oh. 
You like me, don't you? You're not supposed to. Okay. So. Nobody here. Woo! I'm going, man. That does it. Hello there. All right. So, you got to listen to me. Do you really want to listen to these people and their stupid little dumb ideas? Or do you want to believe me and wake up to the meaning of life? You need to be who you are. Don't listen to this or this or this character. Only listen to me. This is some funny stuff. You want to know something? If you believe it, I'm going to be laughing at you. All these friends out there, all these beautiful people, they sit, they sit there and you want to know something? I want to save you. I want to save you. I love all these people because they make me laugh day and night. And they go over there and they sit there and say, oh, stand up there at the Word of God and sit there and say, God loves everybody. But here they turn around, grab their phone, and as soon as I'm transgender, right here, Nobody here. <laughs> As soon as they say, where is that guy? Gary right here, this is him, slop face. Sits here and says, get out, get out now. Jesus does Christ doesn't want you here because he doesn't want you because you are a disgrace to God. You're a disgrace to God. You hear that? That's what he says. And he calls the police right here. Hello, police. Hello, police. Hello, here they come! Hello? Hi, Susan. I'm Sergeant Baby from the Shadow Police Department. This is Detective... Oh, Chief. let me guess. Let me guess. Well, the, the video of the Faith Family Church. Right. Uh, we went through this four times. We don't need to go through this anymore. you out there, so don't show up on the property. I know it was just a video, and you didn't make any reports them. This guy, I, I want to tell you something. Okay. This guy is fucking crazy. Who's crazy? That guy that's Gary that's doing all of this. He's crazy. I mean, this four times now that we've been through this. Okay, well said. We're not here to harass you either. We're just here to remind you that there's a trespass warning against you for the property. Right, so we've been through this uh, since two years ago, five times now. Okay. This is getting ridiculous. Okay, it well. I understand that you're upset, but we're just here to remind you that, okay? That don't go on the property because you'll be arrested for trespassing. And what day is... And here's the funny part. Here's the funny part. Get ready to laugh your brains out. Or should I say your ass off? Here's the funny part. They sit there and they say, God loves you. But you need to... You're transgender? you transgender? Get out! Get out now and turn around! God doesn't want you here. God does not want you here. You get the hell out of Jesus. This is the house. This is the holy place. This is the house where Jesus loves everybody. Get ready to laugh your behind off. This is the house of God. And God loves everybody. But I'll tell you something, my friend. He doesn't love you because you're transgender. And he doesn't love you because you're gay. He doesn't love you because you're just a stupid idiot, Gary. You hear me? But yet, Jesus loves everybody. You're all welcome here, except for these people. Unless you got $100, do you got some money? You don't, then get out of here. Get out, there's a door. Get out of this house. Get out of church. Jesus doesn't want nothing to do with you. What's that? God loves everybody. Sure he does. Loves everybody. But here it is how it is. You're a mock me to Jesus Christ because you're, you are, what's up? You're a mock me to Jesus because that's my boogie woogie. Get ready to laugh because this is how funny this shit is. <laughs> what's that, Gary? Oh, no, hell no. Hell no. He wants my hair. He likes this too. Gary, you're a big damn problem. Oh, hell no. You know what he said? He said he likes this better than the other one. Here, Gary. Here, chew on it. 
Oh, hell no. He likes my face better. Gary! Oh, I didn't know you cared. Said he likes me. But I'm not allowed to tell anybody. Because this is what he wants. He wants to be me. What's that you want to be? He wants to be me. But don't tell anybody because he said he's got to keep that a big secret because God won't like him either. God hates him too if he tells that secret. But yet you can do it by yourself, can't you, Mr. Flop Face? Oh, hell no. What the hell? I actually died on somebody. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, I actually dialed somebody there. <laughs> who did I die at the Faith Family Church? No. I don't know who the hell I died. Okay. Anyway, here's the funny part. Okay. You ready? So they're standing up. They're preaching the Word of God. Oh, you got to be saved. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. The troops are marching on. You don't like my music? Sure you do. I'll get my ukulele. And here's the funny part. Unless you've got lots of money right here. Here they are standing up there. Look this. The Bible saying God loves everybody. Oh, come to me as a little child. And I love everybody. That's Jesus loves everybody. Really. Except for you. You're transgender. Except for you, you're gay. You get out of this church and get out now before I turn you upside down and I call the police and I get you arrested for coming to worship God. I, are you laughing yet? And before I have you arrested, put in jail for worshiping God. And you're standing up there preaching this. You want to know something? Here's what you need to do with this. That's what you need to do with that. Because it doesn't mean a damn thing. Neither does any of this baloney. That's the funny part. That's the funny part. Right there. That is so funny that I laugh day and night. You want to know something? You should too. Day and night. This is some funny stuff. What's that? I wasn't supposed to tell anybody that. Yeah, well, what's, what about it, Gary? Huh? You want to kiss me? Yeah, he likes this face better. He likes this better than the other one. He's gay. He, no, you're transgender and gay. He wants to wear my dress. Jesus, you said that the last time. This is my dress right here. Right here, this is one of my dresses. Says he likes it. Here. What's that? What's that, Gary? I'm a fag. I thought Jesus didn't use those words. How do you I gotta end the show with that? Get ready to laugh. He represents Jesus Christ. Boy, he's fucking ugly, don't you think? <laughs> he's ugly for a preacher, don't you think? This is Gary. Damn, he's ugly, don't you think so? So am I. But I'm a pretty ugly. I tell the truth ugly. But this guy, oh my God. And this, we're going to pray. I know, hey, before I go, we're going to save somebody here today. See, I'm Gary. I'm Mr. Gary. And secretly, I'm him. We're going we're gonna to do some praying before we leave here. We're going to say a parting prayer. But wait a minute, I need some money first. Hey, I need some money first. Money. I want some money. That's why, that's why I believe in God so much. You want to know that? I'm Gary, but I believe in God because I like this. This money. I, give me some money here. And I'll tell you how great, how great God is. Give me some money. And I'll tell you how wonderful Jesus is. Big liar. Okay. Okay. Get a passage in here. Now I walk through the valley of death. I shall fear no evil. And do the boogie woogie with it. Oh, I'm praying the, the spirit out of this poor lost soul. Get ready to laugh. I'm praying the spirit. Oh, oh, oh. It's, oh, we're doing.
going to put the woogie too. Right here with the woogie cookie too. Praying the spirit out of this poor lost soul. You too, honey. You too. Praying the spirit out of the evil spirit of the LGBTQ. You're queer too, my friend. We're praying the spirit. Wait a minute. God ain't answering me. I wonder why. There ain't no God? No, oh, he's dead already. He's dead already. Oh, what am I? I need, you know what? I'm going to make an appointment with my eye doctor. I think I need glasses. So until I get some glasses, I'm going to see you next time. I'm going to go get some glasses. I really need some. I can't read this stuff. I don't, you, if you believe all of this, you believe this stuff. You believe that this stuff, anybody that sits there and preaches against something so much is hate. As God does, and if these idiots do back here, don't deserve your honor. You deserve to wake up and smell the coffee, so to speak. You need to wake up and realize, what's that? I'm supposed to laugh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> here because you people have to know that this is some funny shit don't you are you ready to laugh at all this stuff are you ready to wake up to the truth yet that there is nothing out there they don't care about you anybody that sits there and says you need to leave the church and leave now because of your transgender spirit get out and come back as a man you know what that's what this guy said to me this Gary from the faith family church Get out and come back as a man. Get out and come back as a man. That's what God told him. That's what God, Jesus Christ, told him to tell me. Susan, that is. That's what God told him. Really? Oh, I got to go with that one. Good. No, Bobby. Good night, and good night. Remember, I'll see you next time. I'm going to bring one of my friends with me, because I think it's so funny. Don't you think this is some real funny stuff? I'm laughing my fabini off. I'm laughing my beanie off, too. Ready? <laughs> Here he is. Ooh, I'm laughing my brains out with this. Oh, hell no. What's that? What's that? No, I'm not going there. He says I'm going to hell. Re okay, here. All right, enough of this. Are you ready? Woo!